Greetings. In this video, I'm going to look at these two tropical cyclones threatening Australia. It's truly a crazy situation. Um, they're both very big and dangerous systems, and both are forecast to make landfall on the Australian north coast. So, over on the left, we've got Veronica, and then on the right, there's Trevor. And Trevor is heading towards this direction, and Veronica is heading towards this coastline. Veronica is now currently the by far the stronger of the two systems at Category 4 hurricane intensity. Category 4, also on the Australian scale, winds 125 knots according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. On the broader scale, these storms have been part of a chain of tropical disturbances with uh, tropical cyclone Savannah and a disturbance, developing disturbance out in the Western Indian Ocean, 93S. I'm going to start by looking at Trevor because Trevor is forecast to make landfall about one day before Veronica. Even though right now it is the weaker of the two systems, it's forecast to intensify over the very warm waters of the Gulf of Carpentaria. It's currently just emerged from the Cape York Peninsula into the Gulf of Carpentaria waters. It has a severely disrupted cir circulation due to passage over land, but it is forecast to gather together and intensify. During passage across the Cape York Peninsula, tropical cyclone Trevor weakened from what was effectively a Category 3 hurricane at landfall and is now weakened all the way down to be 45 knots sustained winds. That's a tropical storm strength storm. In fact, the disruption to the circulation during passage across the Cape York Peninsula appears to have been so severe that the tropical storm strength system now is forecast to struggle to intensify as it crosses the Gulf of Carpentaria. But nonetheless, it is still forecast to make landfall as a hurricane strength system, actually possibly as a Category 2 hurricane strength system. It should be noted that the waters in this basin are very, very warm, and we'll have to wait and see how the storm comes together as it intensifies, it re-intensifies. Can it regather its structure, and to what degree will it regather its structure? Maybe by tomorrow we'll have a better idea as to the strength of this system at landfall. Well, now that Trevor has gotten away from all that nasty land, or at least is back over the ocean, the models are in much better agreement than they were on the other side of the peninsula. For example, here's the global forecasting system model showing the storm tracking in towards that location shown in the track plots. And here is the European sensor model, which also shows roughly the same location of landfall. Overall, I think we're still in a little bit of a wait and see type situation because the storm has not quite cleared away from the influence of the Cape York Peninsula and we don't know how much it will intensify before making landfall. This is the Bureau of Meteorology's chart and they have put a very large area of warning across the coast of the Gulf of Carpentaria. So I guess Port MacArthur is in the firing line of the storm and additionally the storm is not forecast to weaken currently not forecast to weaken that rapidly when it makes landfall it will weaken but uh, of course but um it may not weaken extraordinarily rapidly one of the reasons for that could be if it is within a stage of its development where it is at intensifying as it approaches land so, there is um, still a fair degree of uncertainty, I would say, on the intensity and perhaps even on the track, despite the agreement of the models. Let's wait and see till tomorrow. Residents of Port MacArthur, Baru, Lula, and all along the Gulf of Carpentaria coast should keep an eye on this system. In terms of waves and surge, the worst waves and surge will be on the south side of this system. Um, that will be where there is the greatest uh, captured fetch from the winds. So if this comes true, then it would be this sort of coastline. 
Okay, I'm running out of time for, that I have to make this video, but uh, let's take a quick look at Veronica, which is really looking like a nasty storm, very strong, shown here. This is the most recent imagery from Himawari 8, and there's the coast of Western Australia down at the bottom. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center are currently predicting this to become a just one knot off becoming a Category 5 system, according to this forecast, so, you know, could well be a Category 5 by tomorrow. This is going to be a very impressive looking storm tomorrow, and, um, however, as it approaches the coast, they are also predicting weakening. This is partly due to increasing vertical wind shear across the storm, and making landfall at a predicted hurricane strength on 24th at 6z but as a category one hurricane so this is one that really needs to be watched to see if it does actually have this weakening does take this track and um i will certainly be watching this very carefully as obviously should be residents of port headland and other coastal towns that may be on this coast so, unfortunately, I have run out of time, but i leave you here with the Bureau of Meteorology's forecast track for Veronica. And if you are in this region, by any chance, see this video, uh, then please leave a comment and, uh, and I'll be more encouraged to do a future version. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, catch you in the next one.